good kill. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're looking at the Raven 1 campaign by Baltic Dragon, uh, based off the book Raven 1 by Kevin Miller. And it's quite a, an interesting mission, very complex, very realistic. Um, I've played through a couple of the missions and it's really fun. I highly recommend it if you have the Hornet module. Now as far as I know, the Raven 1 campaign is finished and it has been submitted to ED for one final look over before it's released. And so we don't have a final release date yet, but I think it's going to be very, very soon. So let's jump in and see what the campaign is all about. All right, guys, so we're doing the Raven campaign. Pretty excited to do this. Uh, Baltic Dragon, his, uh, his missions have always been awesome. He's really, really good with the mission editor. And, um, you know, I used to think that I was really good with the mission editor because I did all those servers and stuff. And I learned a lot and I was like, I must be pretty good. And then I saw his missions <laughs> and I realized that I don't know anything. Um, he's so talented with the mission editor. He makes some really cool things. Ravens, check on Pry. Raven 1-1. One, one. Raven 1-2. One, Ravens, check on Ox, Raven 1-1. One, one. Raven 1-2. One, so yeah, it's uh, when you got that kind of talent in the mission editor in DCS, you can make some super cool missions. And uh, it's essentially what he's done here. And I'm really excited to play it. I've already played another one of the, the scenarios. And I'm showing you guys this one. Uh, this one's kind of close to me just because I did some voice acting in it myself and I know a couple of other content creators did as well. Um, Vincent Aiello from the uh, Fighter, Pol po Fighter Pilot Podcast. Um, Jello. Uh, Kevin Miller himself, I believe, who is the author of the book that the Ravens campaign is based off of. Um, he did some voice acting. I think he, I'm pretty sure he did. And he wrote some of the uh, briefings and stuff that you see. So it's got the same feel as the book. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. And you know what I like about it though? It's, it feels kind of realistic. Like you feel like you're working through diplomatic relations and there's politics involved, you know? So you don't just take off and you know pick up a bandit and then just start slinging amrams at him you know they're you're like flying towards him trying to get him to get away from you like he's nose hot your nose hot you're threatening him maybe you lock him up you know and you're just telling this guy like hey piss off man or i'm gonna shoot you and like they'll turn off and you know you'll turn off they'll do the same to you like it's just like it would be in real life in the sense that you don't just instantly go hot you know um, there's like a build-up to um, tensions getting hot and I believe that this mission is the same way um, this uh, this campaign is the same way I think it starts off kind of like you're kind of nervous you're like oh I don't know like am I gonna shoot this guy or not and then he turns away and then things get hotter down the road and it gets pretty interesting so um, really really excited about this mission I think it's got something like 2200 voiceovers more than that which is unbelievable. 2,200 voiceovers. And uh, I don't think my guy is in this mission. My guy's name was, uh, I think his call sign was Blade, and his name was Sam Cutter. Um, I don't think he's in this mission. But uh, if you're gonna buy the mission and you hear Sam Cutter, just remember that's me. <laughs> Uh, I haven't heard myself talk yet. I, I might sound like an idiot, so you'll have to let me know. And so the other interesting thing is, like, Kevin Miller, as far as I know, is a former F-18 pilot. And therefore, he's got a unique experience that he can bring to this kind of mission, to this kind of campaign. Make it interesting, but also somewhat realistic. And I'm sure a lot of this stuff is based off of his personal experience and things that happened to him, you know, and or like stories that he heard and stuff like that. So I think this campaign is um, interesting in that sense. And I think it's uh, like I said, I've already played a couple of the missions and they are pretty cool. They are realistic 
and you definitely feel Ravens, Raven one one, switch strike on prime. You feel the tension in the air, you know. Raven one two. Ravens, check on pry. Raven one one. Raven one two. And so when it comes to these campaigns, I always found campaigns to be the best way to learn an aircraft. Um, I did this with the KA-50. I did a campaign to learn that helicopter, and it's it's a really good way to learn it because it forces you to, to use all of your skills. And so you got to go and learn things and then come back and uh, employ them in the mission. And like things like like this this campaign it'll force you to do everything from air to air to seed to gbus to anti-ship operations to air to air refueling to within visual range engagements and just on and on anything you can think of this mission uses so by the time you're done every time i say mission i mean campaign so by the time you're done this campaign uh, you will be proficient in the hornet if you're not already, you'll be amazing at it. And if you're not good in the Hornet, well, it's going to force you to learn the Hornet. And you're going to have a lot of fun in the process. So we're finally off the deck here, and the plan for today was going to be that we're going to go do some bombing stuff and what we're going to do is throw some smoke into the ocean and then we're going to practice bombing it with uh, cluster munitions so oh we got a 29 spike two of them obviously Iranian night raven one one picture night Raven 1-1. One, one. All right, so strike just confirmed that they're bandits. Raven 1-1, one, one, strike. Strike, Raven 1-1, one, one. go ahead. Raven 1-1, one, one, strike. Commit on the group pass by night. Rock 006, 20, 18,000. Join an escort once they are feet wet in international airspace. Strike, Raven 1-1, one, one. commit. All right, so we've been committed onto this MiG-29 group here, and we have them on radar. And they're at 18,000 as reported, so that's definitely them. And they're not coming back as bandits for me, but Strike has already confirmed them as bandits, so um, we'll go ahead and commit onto them. And they're definitely getting um, us on RWR at this time. And so we're just going to continue forward and hope that they, they turn away. And remember that the bearings that Strike is going to give you is from Waypoint Rock, which I believe is Waypoint 2. All that information is on your knee pad and all the radio frequencies and all that kind of stuff, tactical strike um, uh, guard, all that stuff that's on your knee pad. So that information is there. Don't forget to look for it. Okay, sweet. So we've been cleared off. They're leaving. Looks like they're turning away the Iranian MiG-29s. 
And so we're good to go. And we're going to go ahead and get back to our bombing mission. Practice. Practice bombing mission. So we have the waypoint set up on our HUD. Go ahead and turn in that direction. I missed it by a little bit. Wasn't paying attention there. And so we'll set up our radio here the way I like it. Again, these frequencies are on your knee pad. I actually have them written down on a piece of paper in front of me, so I don't have to pull up the knee pad every three seconds. And I think they're also already preset into the radios, so. Um, it's just a matter of flipping through and finding what frequency you're supposed to be on. Alright, so we've come to the area that we're going to do our bombing practice. It says at the top, uh, anchor here and press spacebar when you're ready to commence the training. So I'm just going to do a right hand orbit and we'll set up barometric altitude hold and the attitude hold. And that should keep us here. We'll hit spacebar and we should commence the training. Raven 1-1 one, one anchored in right hand orbit. 2, say when ready to drop the mark. So she's going to set up her stuff because she's going to go first. Set up the mark. That's the smoke. Two is ready. Raven 1-1. One, one. Tapes on. Armstrong. Raven 1-2. Tapes on. Armstrong. Two. Stand by. Stand by. Drop. Raven 1-2. Alright, so she's off to drop the smoke marker, and then on that smoke we will hit our cluster munitions, and hopefully she gets both of hers on there, and hopefully I can get the one that I'm supposed to drop on target without embarrassing myself, that'll be sweet. Okay. Raven one two anchored. So she's up here, she's anchored now, it's my turn. We'll set the bomb, CCIP. Raven one one is in, mark twenty. And we're in master arm on. And you can see that smoke off in the distance, that's our mark.
Okay. So I'm a little fast here. I'm going to throw out the air brake. And I just want to hit the smoke. I don't really care about anything else at this point. Altitude. Altitude. Relax. I got it. Okay, and pickle. Pull up. Roll away. Raven 1 1 is off. Yes. Alright, we'll take it. That was good. I'm happy with that. Night. Raven 1 1, go ahead. Another bogey. Raven 1 1, Roger. Raven 1 1, commit. Bogies. Raven 1 1. Raven 1 strike. Warning condition yellow weapon sight. Raven 1 1. Okay, weapons tight, so we'll go ahead and throw that master arm off. And so that's a bogey, so we don't know if he's hostile, if he's friendly. We can't IFF him, so we're gonna go check him out. And so he's headed towards Mother, which is our carrier, obviously. So he's a high priority threat right now, I think. And that's probably why they took us off the bombing mission, or the practice bombing mission, to send us to check this guy out. So it should be interesting. I think the only reason they're not too concerned right now is the direction that the bandits are coming from. They're coming from the uh, Dubai side of the Persian Gulf. So I think they think they're friendly. But uh, that's why we're being sent in to escort and to uh, identify the bogeys. I feel like if they were this close to an actual American battle group and their transponders were coming back as hostile or something, they would have already been shot down. But... Um, probably just a couple of incompetent pilots out here who forgot to throw on their transponders. There they are on the SA page. So we are nose hot with them right now. And so the interesting thing also is I'm not getting any kind of spike from them, so whatever they are, they probably don't even have their radar on. Still bogey. So we don't know what the hell these guys are. It's coming back as 10,000. Oh, he just came back as hostile, man. Still calling them bogeys, so, I mean, what are you going to do? And they said weapons tight, so, you know. I think I can actually see them visually. So flight of two. I already knew that from the SA page, but they're over there, pretty close formation too. I think I might just lock them up. Technically I shouldn't be locking them up. They haven't 
told me to lock them up. Locking somebody up is actually an escalation, so. It's like the next step, you know. First you fly towards them, they get your spike, and then they turn off. If they don't get your spike, you lock them up, and you're telling them that, like, hey man, like, I'm giving you a warning, like, piss off right now or I'm gonna shoot you, and usually that does the trick. But, uh... See, like, these guys does all kinds of hostile, man. They're headed right towards Mother. They've been locked up. They're still coming. Nose hot. Pretty fast. Pretty fast. Like, 400 knots plus these guys are going. Like, I don't know, man. Kelly. Strike. Raven 1-1. One, one. Stand by. Single group. Raven 1-1. One, one. Request visual ID. Weapons tight. Visual ID. Raven 1-1, one, one, roger. Visual ID, weapons tight. Yeah, so... I think the only reason that they're doing this, like the visual ID thing, is due to the direction that they are coming out of the Persian Gulf. And they are coming from the friendly side, so... Everybody here is pretty certain these are friendlies, and that's why we're doing the visual ID. I don't want to get too into... Um, procedures and stuff because I don't actually know this is just my impression of how it works and I think if these guys were coming from the Iranian side they would have had a much different experience than they're having right now you know the way they're coming in flight of two nose hot at 400 knots plus right towards uh, an aircraft carrier coming out of the Persian the Iranian side of the Gulf like you know it would have been a different reaction I feel like and so here we go we're coming up on these two mirages it looks like is that a mirage yeah they, those are mirages for sure look like uh, what kind of colors are those Emirati Mirage 2000 Emirates strike Raven 1-1 Positive ID, Mirage 2000, Emirates. Yeah, nice. Radio one strike, Roger. Try to call them on guard. Raven one one, Roger. Two, switch guard on Ox. All right, let's check these guys on guard. See what's up. Ravens, check on guard. Two is on guard. Mirage 2000, you are approaching U.S. naval warships operating due regard in international waters. State your intentions. Yeah, please let us know your intentions. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm from Pasha 1-1, Sierra Emirates, Mirage. Thank you for listening to take a deep breath. Here I what's the problem? What's the problem? Pasha 1-1, Raven 1-1. Recommend you check your transponders and fly heading 080. <laughs> Even, Pasha, that's a negative. We're following your flight plan. What's wrong with transponders? Oh, I don't know. It's coming back hostile. Pasha 1-1, one, one, stand by. <laughs> These guys have no idea how lucky they are to be alive, man. Oh my god. What's the problem? We're just flying, uh... 360, 370 knots towards uh, an American battle group, and our transponders are squawking back hostile. What's the problem, man? <laughs> Come on. Just seemed like a couple of Mara. And this is their flight plan? Like, what? What kind of flight plan is this? Strike, Raven 1 1. Did you copy exchange on guard? Affirm. We've contacted Walmart. They were relayed a message to our friends. Struck them sect squawk 3122 and fly heading 080. Raven 11. Alright, 080. 080 is to the right of us. So I gotta switch over to their left side because they're gonna break right. And we'll contact them on guard and tell them to get out of here, man. Pasha 11, set squawk 3122. New heading 080. That is your final warning, dude. Raven, stand by. Yeah, get your shit together, Pasha. This is ridiculous, man. Uh, Raven? Pasha. 
Yes. Asha, Raven 1-1, one, one, go ahead. Asha's gonna get your way, we'll change our heading to 080 and set the new spot. Sorry for the mess. Be advised, we've been informed about the new Iranian flights taking off. Are you boys need not dealing with them? <laughs> Raven 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we're good, man. We're good, we'll take care of it ourselves. Two, join up. Pushing towards Mother. Switch back to tactical. We'll learn how your transponders work and then you can come help us with the Iranians. <laughs> good lord. Ravens, check. Alright, we're back on tactical. Raven, one, two, hey, did you copy Pasha's last? Yeah, I heard him. Hey, firm. Roger. That wasn't an Arabic accent, was it? Negative. Those were Brits. They often fly as mercs for our friends. Brits flying French aircraft. That's probably why they were confused. Rod. That's probably what happened. Looks like they're sending up another flight of hornets up here. These guys are Raven 2-1. Remember, we're Raven 1-1. One, one. And uh, we're back around Mother, but we'll go ahead and head out with Raven 2-1 and see what's going on with that Iranian flight that's coming into the area. It's had multiple. Multiple Iranian flights. This better not kick off, man. I only have two AMRAMs. Like, a bunch of smoke bombs I'm carrying, too. Like, this is not what I want to start fighting Iranians. And I think I got some 9Xs, too, but... I don't know, man. We just got committed onto an F-14. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with them. Altitude. Altitude. There he is. Off on our right side here. I don't know what's going on, man. Why the Iranians are coming up here, I don't know. You know, there's two of us. There's two other F-18s. And then there were the Emirati Mirages. So maybe the Iranians think something's up. I don't know. Or maybe they're trying to get us to piss off. That's also possible. Um, I have no idea what Raven 2-1's carrying in terms of a loadout. But if he was, you know, sent up here to you know, do some sort of cap. I'm assuming he brought a lot of AMRAMs, and I sure hope so, because I don't have a whole lot, dude. I can do, like, one recommit for you with a second AMRAM, and then I'm out. I'm not equipped for uh, taking on the Iranian Air Force right now. a couple of hot bandits all right um, there is Raven 2-1 and 2-2 right in front of us here and 
looks like he's committed onto those F-14s. Remember those bearings? I believe they were off rock, which again is waypoint two. It's not a relative bearing to you. It's from the waypoint, which I believe is also bullseye. Um, so you got to understand all that kind of stuff. Lots of things to learn if you're going to do these missions. Altitude. Altitude. Altitude's fine. Relax. Are you freaking out, lady? All right, so we are behind Raven 2-1. He is hauling ass, man. Like, I'm 500 knots, and I'm just starting to catch up to him a little bit here. Come on. So we'll form up with Raven 2-1 and push these F-14s. Looks like a two-group, 20,000, 22,000 hot bandits. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. They'll piss off, probably. If I get a Phoenix fired at me, man, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. All right, here we go. So those F-14s on radar should be seeing probably a group of four Hornets, close formations, just coming at them. What's up? Raven 2-1, night. Two groups, azimuth 5, echelon northwest. South group, walk 32660, 20,000. Group, now, flanking. now flanking. Okay. Nine, Raven, two, one, Roger. They're turning off. It's good. Okay, well, it looks like they turned off, and that's good. We are headed to the Iranian coast, that land mass that you see in front of us that I believe is Iran, and so we don't want to push too much deeper into this, because if they see a flight of four hornets come into their airspace, I guarantee you they're going to fire on us, and if they fire on us, it's a... Uh, it's going to be definitely some sort of international incident, you know, so. And it would kind of be our fault, if we're being honest. Uh, we don't have directions to go into their airspace, so. So yeah, man, this is, uh, like I said, this is the kind of stuff that I think actually happens in real life. Um, it's not just constant, you know, slinging AMRAMs at each other kind of thing. You know, you're, you're closing in, you're getting guys to piss off, you're intercepting bogeys and bandits and civilian traffic and realistic, and sorry, uh, military traffic and guys who forgot their transponders or they're on the wrong frequencies. You know, this, this stuff is like, it feels real when you're doing it, you know? You don't feel like you're playing some sort of like Mission Impossible thing where it's not realistic, you know? It's pretty cool. <sighs> Alright, we got those 14, 14 spike up ahead here. Raven 2 1, night. Two groups, azimuth 5, echelon northwest. South group, walk 31172, 20,000. North group, 22,000. Now hot. Oh, they turned back Raven into us. Those guys who turned off, they turned back in. I bingo set to 3,000. Still good. Lots of fuel left. 
Just don't set an afterburner the whole time. You'll be all right. And uh, if you're low on fuel, there's also a tanker. So you could always hit the tanker. So we're turning away, and looks like he's going to turn back in now. There we go. Okay, now Raven 2-1 is committing on the F-14s. And we're going with him. So they turned away and then they turned back in and we kind of did the same. A little bit of an aggressive maneuver to come back and point your nose back at us. I'm not a big fan of that. But uh, hopefully they, they piss off. And, you know, I'm not really in a good situation for a BVR engagement like I'm not that fast like if shit kicks off here man um, I'm not feeling too good about my odds against the Phoenix missile right now I guess I could just go for a notch because I'm pretty slow but I don't think they're gonna shoot if they wanted to shoot they would have already shot so I think they just don't like us hanging around here because we are kind of close to the Iranian coast if we're being honest here and so they're probably not a huge fan of that. So they sent their F-14s up here to get us to uh, go back. And now we're head on with their F-14s. Their F-14s turned away probably to show that they're not aggressive. And they're trying to send a message, you know. And then they turn back in because I think they noticed that we didn't leave. So that's another warning. We are now away from the coast, headed away from the Iranian coast. Okay, so we turned away, and it looks like they turned away. Raven 2 1 strike. Recommend skip it, reset. Raven 2 1 to Roger. All right, they just reset Raven to one, so he's out of here. That's us. Knight, Raven one one, go ahead. Knight, pop up group, walk two nine five one one four sixteen thousand, trap south, booty outlaw, recommend commit. Shit. Raven 1-1. One, one. Uh, we just got committed. Alright, so they just reset Raven 2-1 and then recommitted us, Raven 1-1, one, one, onto uh, probably those F-14s again. We're turning back into them. Looks like they turned back. Very aggressive, man. Aggressive actions from the Iranians here today. To be honest, like to be fair, like we're, we're kind of close to their coast, so that's Raven 1-1. Uh, one, one. And I'm pretty sure Raven 1-1 one, one has more fuel than I do anyway. Or sorry, Raven 2-1. That was Raven 2-1 we saw off in the distance. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's got more fuel and a better, you know, cap loadout. I feel like he should be doing this. I'm just kind of scared to take on an F-14 right now. That's really what's going on here. Um, and I don't see them. They're pretty far out though. He said like over 100 miles, I think. He said, so. 
We'll just stay. I, and I think it was this heading here from waypoint two rock. So we should be pointed in their general direction. I got something on radar here. Not coming back as friendly. That's them, I think. All right, looks like a flight of two Iranian F 14s. Night, Raven 1 1, contact. All right, we'll call contact and. Raven 1 1, strike. Lock them up. Weapons tight. See, we got cleared to lock them up. I, technically, I shouldn't have. Raven one one. Ravens, Armstrong. I shouldn't have locked up those Emirati Mirages. Raven one one. Bandit locked. All right, we got these guys locked up. Raven one two. Bandit locked. Still coming back as bogey on my radar though. We've not been correctly IFF'd. All right, they're turning off. Raven 1-1. One, one. Now they're bandits on my thing. There we go. All right, they're turning off. And we'll see if they decide to turn back. Because they've turned off like four times already, man. These guys keep coming back. Raven one one night. Group drag east. Recommend skip it and reset. Night monitor. All right, good. We've been reset. Raven one one Roger. All right, let's get out of here. Four thousand seven hundred pounds of fuel. I can't go home yet until they RTB me, but uh, we'll turn off anyway. Raven 1-1 one, one strike, we're launching Shadow 1-1, one, one. you're cleared to RTB. Oh, sweet. Alright, we're going home. Raven 1-1, one, one. roger. Alright, we're out of here.